Hello everyone, my name is Chris and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you on Hawkeye. Hawkeye is a craft bucket plugin similar to Big Brother and Logblock. What's different about Hawkeye is that it has it can record over 30 different actions. Um, you can roll back using World Edit. Uh, you can preview your rollback your rollbacks before they appear to everyone else. And there's a web interface which is extremely cool. So first thing you have to do is open up the dev bucket page for Hawkeye. I'll throw a link in the description for you. Um, and you're going to hit download in the top right hand corner. And you're going to hit download again. And here we have the .zip file. And in here we fi find three different things. We find the Hawkeye interface um, .zip, which we, we will be looking at later. Or I'll be showing you. I might just show you the the web interface. I'm not. I'm probably not going to go through a tutorial with it, but we'll see. And there's two Hawkeye jars in there. Now you're only going to need the one that says CB1185. That's because uh, we're currently running Craft Bucket version 1185. So we're going to take that and put it in our plugins folder. Okay, and then we're going to go and run our server once, just to to uh, generate the config file. All right, so we can see there that the config has been created. So we're going to go into our plugins folder, Hawkeye, and config.yml. So here you can see uh, the different actions that Hawkeye logs. And you might want to turn some of these off if your server does not have as much uh, RAM or resources as others. Um, so you can turn off chat because your server already records that through the server.log. And you can turn off other stuff like, you know, commands and button and whatever whatever you want. So leave on what you, you want to record and set to false what you don't want to record. There are some general options there and the MySQL database. Um, I created a temporary database just so I could show you guys how it connects and what it looks like when it connects. But it will be deleted by the time you guys see this, so don't bother trying to connect to it. So my username... I'm going to copy this because I have the same database name for for it. So I'm going to copy it down here. My host name. It's my website if you want to go there at any point. And the password for the database. Um, everything seems to be great. So we're going to save that and run our server again. Alright, and if everything works properly, we should see Hawkeye creating the tables in the MySQL database uh, right after this. And there it goes, so it created the tables for the MySQL database. Now I do not have world edit on the server, so the one action that uh, wouldn't work is the selection rollback feature, um, but we're not going to worry about that. If you have world edit, it should work for you. Um, so now that we can see that it connected and it's working, we're going to try and uh, see what it looks like on a server. Connect to localhost, because that's what I'm running it off of. And there we go, so I just joined the game and I already griefed it a little bit. Um, this is like my 20th take of this tutorial, so we're just going to ignore that because none of that's recorded because I deleted the, uh, the database and restarted. But here we have these awesome cubes that, uh, that I made previous previously. So we're going we're gonna to break these and, and grief a little bit. And I'm probably going to speed up here, so just so you know what's going on. All right, so you can see here that I, I griefed a whole bunch. I'm just doing it again so you guys can see what I did on top. And there we go. So there's obsidian everywhere, destroying this beautiful piece of uh, architecture. So what we're, what we're gonna do is type slash slash hawk tool, and that will give us a log block, um, and we can left click to check block spot and we can right click to check like the little spot so you see how it appeared there so it's checking that spot for any data 
if I left click, it's just going to check the spot that I click. So we can see here that player Chris, one, Chris 1056, which is me, um, broke dirt and then changed air to obsidian. And that's exactly what happened. So, so we can see that it's working now. And I'm going to type slash hawk so we can see all the commands. And we're going to try the preview feature. So we're going to type slash hawk preview p for player chris1056 for me. And I'm going to hit enter. So you can see how it rolled back even my stairwell over here that I made. You can see it rolled back all the features. Now I'm the only one that can actually see this right now. So any players that would be on my server couldn't see that I did this. So to, to set it permanently, we're going to type slash hawk apply, just like that. Oh, sorry, it's it's actually slash hawk preview apply, I believe. Um, whatever what that, what's on the screen is wrong. So I'm going to hit enter. Oh no, maybe it is. Oh, did I type it wrong? Perfect. Okay, so now it just applied the rule back to the world, and uh, now that's saved. So that's kind of what Hawkeye does. Hawkeye has some other other commands that you can see here. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all. You can play with them. Um, as for the parameters for rollback and preview, if you go to the Hawkeye dev page, which is in my background right here, and go to the, the main site, you and scroll down. Right here is kind of like a cheat sheet, what they call a cheat sheet for all the parameters. So here I use P to list uh, players. And you can use R to only roll back a specific radius, or you can use T for only a specific time, A for only specific actions, um, and so on. Uh, so here's a little cheat sheet. I will link to this in the description. Um, so you can check down there. You don't have to go searching for it or anything. Uh, I also want to mention before I wrap this up and go into the web interface, maybe we'll see um, the permissions. So on the permissions page, I, I can link to this too uh, if I remember. Um, you need to add these to your permissions plugin. Um, these are the nodes and, and the functions. Without this, um, only ops will be able to use the commands. So remember, uh, you have to configure your permissions plugin. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you guys want more tutorials, you can go to my website, uh, chriswood.org, and go to my contact page and send me an, an email. You can comment on the YouTube video. But the best way, if you have questions, the best way to contact me is by going to my website. Uh, I will I receive an email on my actual email address, and I'll be able to reply to you right away. Um, if you have any questions or comments, YouTube is fine too if you would like to do that as well if you have any requests for videos you can also send me an email um, you guys can go ahead and like and subscribe please that'd be sweet um, have a great day and I hope this helps you a lot